Good morning. Welcome to Friday's Early Morning Intuitive Guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum. Looking forward to sharing this card with you. It is another one of those that makes me go, yep, spot on, spot on. So starting a little bit early today because we're about to take off for Sun Prairie to work on the flip that we're doing. So excuse the ensemble, but I have my painting duds on. <laughs> so um, today's card, I think, is, is again about perspective, kind of like yesterday's, and actually it's out of the same, same deck. It is the Pilgrim Cards deck by Austin Repath. Good morning, Peggy. We're starting a little bit early today because I'm gonna be getting on the road shortly. So what I'd like us to do is, as always, start with the breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep it going, keep it going. Just some nice deep belly breaths, opening yourself to receiving this message. Good morning, Deb. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad people are finding me a little bit early today. For those of you who don't manage to find me a little bit early, at least there will be the replay up for you to, to watch. Um, so our card for today, I, I just kind of smirked when I pulled this one from the deck because it was like, oh yeah, I get this. Great mystery great mystery. And again, it's from the Pilgrim Cards deck by Austin Repath. So let's just settle in and open ourselves to receiving this message, however it's meant to touch for you. Great mystery. Sometimes on the road, the steepness of the hills and the treachery of the rock, of the rock-strewn track, wear you down. Good morning, Susan. Glad you're here. Welcome. Hope this message resonates for you also. You grow thin and weak, Lose whatever strength and invincibility you thought you had. You feel like a wisp, a shadow slipping through the world. You no longer trust the counsel of your mind or the compass of your instincts. You sense that the rough toil of the pilgrimage is burning off all that was keeping you going. Your hopes and dreams, purpose and goals. You hold to the simplest of tasks, walking the way. All you know for sure is that the game is in another's hands, that you are as close to disembodied spirit as you have ever been. If ever the curious mind was called to witness the great mystery at work, this is it. If in the near-death experience there was a moment for trust, you have reached it. So there's that word again, trust. Welcome to the two of you who popped on while I was talking. Um, glad you're here. So. This, good morning, Beth. Welcome, welcome. This message really fit. Uh, it spoke to my experience from yesterday. Some of you probably saw the pictures I posted on my personal page from my four mile walk around the city. The backstory on that is um, I was feeling the word I was going to pick, they, they, she, he uses the word wisp, which I think fits perfectly, but was fragile, just fragile. Um, two very close family members were in the middle of having medical procedures yesterday and things were just everything. I was, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to move forward, kept getting stymied. The pile on my desk was massive. I just felt tired and discouraged. And one of the things that I know is Having lived 62 years, I've been there before. I will be there again. It's kind of the hello darkness, my old friend thing. Um, good morning, Joanne. Glad you are here. Welcome. Um, so I decided I was going to go for a walk since and then the other thing that happened was my printer died. Now, granted, this is at least a 10-year-old printer. It has served me well. My faithful Hewlett Packard 8600 but it died in the one page short of finishing something. <laughs> so I was like, I've had it. I've just had it. Ran and did some errands I had to do, um, including buying a new printer, which is still sitting in the box because I didn't feel yesterday like I had the bandwidth to fight with getting that thing set up. So tomorrow I will do that because I'm going to be gone today. So but tomorrow I will do that. Um, but I decided I had 
cards to bring to the post office and I needed to stop at Zion to drop off a contract and whatever, whatever. So I thought, I'm good morning, Lane. I haven't seen you in ages. Welcome, welcome. Excuse my outfit. I'm painting today. Um, but I figured, why not walk? It was 45 flipping degrees out in Wisconsin in December. I thought, I'm going to take advantage of this. So I wandered all over and up into an area where I had never been before. And the houses were absolutely gorgeous. I think I posted two of them um, on my little photo vignette that I put on Facebook, my personal Facebook Facebook page, if you want to go see the pictures. There was a gigantic um, hornet's nest that was hanging down from a tree. I took a picture of that. There was a beautiful old um, metal bird cage hanging on someone's porch. I took a picture of that. There was just all kinds of cool stuff. And actually, that was a method I used when my mom was dying three years or three years ago, four years ago. I thought, yeah. Wow. Um, every morning I'd go and walk the city and take pictures of cool stuff. Ah, you love painting? Good, because I am not fond of it. I'm one of those people who likes to see outcomes fast. Painting is not one of those things. One needs to be tidy about painting. And interestingly, the place that we're painting, the person who painted before was not tidy. So did things like eggplant. Do you know how hard it is to cover up eggplant? So we got the Zinzer version of kills and covered up all this stuff, but there were built-ins, beautiful wooden built-ins. Good morning, Cindy. All along the edge of the built-ins. He painted the edge. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we've done a ton of cleanup there. So glad you're all here, glad you're all here. So I'm gonna read this card again, because again, it's so spoke to me about being in that place yesterday and knowing that I didn't want to cave into those feelings of fragility. I wanted to do something that allowed me to feel more empowered, thus the four mile walk. <laughs> and I can feel it in my ribs today. It's like, did you know you walk with your ribs? <laughs> so, but this I thought just captured it totally and again, been here before, I'll be here again. It's part of the human condition, but it was um, navigating it that was so interesting. So here's our card again, Pilgrim Cards by Austin Repath. Great mystery. Sometimes on the road, the steepness of the hills and the treachery of the rock strewn track wear you down. You grow thin and weak, lose whatever strength and invincibility you thought you had. You feel like a wisp, a shadow slipping through the world. You no longer trust the counsel of your mind or the compass of your instincts. You sense that the rough toil of the pilgrimage is burning off all that was keeping you going. Your hopes and dreams, purpose and goals. Good morning, Debbie. Welcome. You hold to the simplest of tasks, walking the way. All you know for sure is that the game is in another's hands that you are as close to disembodied spirit as you have ever been. Good morning, Mel, glad you're here. If ever the curious mind was called to witness the great mystery at work, this is it. If in this near-death experience there was a moment for trust, you have reached it. And again, my thing with faith and trust is if we knew everything, if we had it all figured out, if we knew what our next step was going to be, we wouldn't need faith and trust. So when these circumstances like yesterday where two people in my family are going through medical stuff that I was very concerned about, until I heard back, I needed to exercise faith and trust. I needed to stand in that place of, okay, we're holding this all up, turning it over to spirit, seeing what happens. And the universe responds, the universe responds. Sometimes the answer is yes, it's going to turn out the way you would like. Sometimes the answer is nope, it's not going to turn out the way you would like. And then you proceed from there. And then you proceed from there. Good morning, Lucy. Welcome. We are just about done. I started early today because we're about to hit the road. So 
Great mystery. Great mystery. Good morning, Miriam and Vondren. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. So I'd love for those of you who are just popping on now, please go back and listen to this one because it is really a powerful card all about when we're walking the path and things get really difficult. All right? Have an awesome day. I will see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.